about this here at CES 2020's Digital Health Summit. This is the world's largest gathering place for the latest in consumer tech and health innovation. This is where self-care meets healthcare. We have six reporters and producers on the ground today. How can we enable our audience to think about health tech and start to embrace it in a way that it's going to change their lives? Because we believe that it has the possibility to do that. And at the same time, as a health publisher, we have a responsibility to ask all the right questions, right? So, hey, is this device really worth my time and investment? You know, is taking the time to put this data in really going to make a difference in the outcome of my condition that I'm dealing with? One of the coolest things I've seen today is a product called Aluna. So this is a, a product that's paired with an app and a spirometer and gaming to help kids who have asthma better manage their medication. This is a portable spirometer, so it's, we're basically taking the hospital technology and bringing it to the home setting. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was here looking for our wearable technologies and I was surprised to see underwearable technologies. There's a company called Mayant that creates this uh, product called Skin, which is smart underwear. Essentially, it, it tracks your health data, your activity data in real time. You can share with loved ones or your healthcare provider and be able to track your, your health. We integrate sensors and actuators into the textiles directly. And we're able to sense all kinds of biometric from the body. It's actually going to tell you how many live, viable, living sperm you have in your sample. And then also provide you with a ranking compared to other men who have fathered a child. Redocept is a fertile reality training for chronic pain. And what is good to know about chronic pain is that all pain is a product of your brain. Across the board, in almost every area that we cover, pain comes up for our readers. We combine several evidence-based psychological exercises that actually train the brain or rewire it to interpret the signals differently. Femtech is everywhere. We're seeing more companies that are female-centered, that are talking about female health, female bodies. Menstrual cycle tracking was like the original data point that was ever tracked in history. Willow is the first all-in-one wearable breast pump that's quiet and fits directly in your bra. We just had someone run the New York City Marathon and pump 17 ounces without spilling a drop of milk. One of the things that was pretty exciting to see here is this whole idea of advancements with health tech and aging in place. So this is an area that's exploding. The advancements in the quality of these tools that you can use to help your loved ones age in place and know that they're being taken care of. Elliot Fry, he's an NFL football player for the Carolina Panthers and he happens to have type 1 diabetes. And he showed us how technology is helping him live the active professional athlete life that he has always dreamed of. It was cool. All I do is pull out my phone, open the app, hit the scan button, and there it is. So now it's 159. Now I know and I can see where it's been kind of all day. So this is the first year that sex tech is allowed at CES. The Lioness vibrator uh, looks like a normal vibrator on first glance, but Inside is precision sensors and uh, it uses biofeedback, so you're able to literally see your own arousal and orgasm. Telemedicine is already a big player, but mostly telemedicine is video chat. We wanted to create a way for patients to be examined right where they are. MedOne is a handheld, pocket-sized, portable medical device that houses within it 10 diagnostic instruments. You don't have to leave and go travel to a nurse or a doctor anymore. They can come to you right through your computer.